The graphic in the image shows the rise of the Bitcoin. Its value reached a record level in recent times. Would Bitcoin take over the existing cash-based system? What does the future hold for Bitcoin? In March 2020, before the pandemic started, Bitcoin was trading around $4,000. In the first days of 2021, it exceeded $40,000. The rise also raises many questions. The first one is undoubtedly, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a kind of digital currency. It is also known as cryptocurrency. Expenditures and payments can be made virtually through Bitcoin. Bitcoin has not yet been approved by all financial authorities, even though its areas of use increase every day. There are fundamental differences between Bitcoin from traditional currencies. Its independency from a central authority is one of these differences. Bizimizdeki paraların değeri aslında onu basan, yani o parayı basan kurumu güvenilirliğiyle alakalı bir ülkenin merkez bankası oluyor bu genelde de. Yani bir ülkenin merkez bankası diyor ki bu kağıda ben böyle bir değer biçtim. Biz de o değere güvenerek birbirimizin arasında O kağıt parçasının ki kağıt parçasının normalde hiçbir değeri yok kendi başına ama sadece bir kağıt parçası olmasına rağmen böyle bir değer var. Bitcoin de bu güvene ihtiyaç duyulmadan sağlanabiliyor. Technology behind Bitcoin is called blockchain. Blockchain is a mechanism that enables the system to operate safely. It is a technology which is open to public and cannot be hacked, modified or deleted. Blockchain is what makes Bitcoin tick. It is the way that we are actually able to reconcile that this Bitcoin you're sending to me is valid. So basically every time someone either creates Bitcoin or sends Bitcoin to someone else, then that Bitcoin is recorded in a kind of ledger book. And so you can imagine it just like a ledger of accounts where you record transactions day by day. And so just like uh, pages in a book would be bound together, you would also have all these blocks bound together in a chain. The first Bitcoin transfer was made 12 years ago. Transaction made between Satoshi Nakamoto, who is known as Bitcoin's inventor, and another entrepreneur opened a door to a new payment system. On that date, the value of one Bitcoin was $0.39. In the beginning, the reaction of the state and banks to this new crypto money was negative. Countries like China and Iran banned Bitcoin. American bank JP Morgan called Bitcoin a fraud. But the situation reversed over time. Both Iran and China lifted the ban and started free trade. JP Morgan also started creating digital coins. Understanding that Bitcoin is not a temporary trend has encouraged many global companies. For example, PayPal with 300 million users accepted Bitcoin as a payment tool. Companies like Facebook and Google have their own digital money initiatives too. These could be Bitcoin's competitors soon. It is also predicted that Bitcoin can replace gold in the upcoming period. According to the Bank for International Settlements, 80% of central banks worldwide have been conducting studies on digital currency. We've seen a lot of interest and growth from uh, some central banks, including uh, China's central bank, they've been very interested in the digital yuan for quite a while now. It's, it's going to be coming, and I think it's eventually when it comes, when it does um, get released by one central bank or another, it's going to become uh, a case for competitiveness. If a, if a country or their central banking system wants to be competitive on the world stage, I think it's eventually going to be recognized that a digital form of their currency is what's required. There is a debate on whether Bitcoin could possibly be an alternative to current currency system. Bugün modern anlamda bildiğimiz para mübadelenin bir aracıdır. Satın alma gücünü ifade eden bir ölçü birimidir ve tasarruflarımız olarak geleceğe taşıma kullanılanı ifade eden bir nesnedir. Ama bugünkü kağıt para sistemi aslında modern dünya ile beraber bankacılık mekanizmasıyla beraber bu fonksiyonların önemli ölçüde kaybettiğini biliyoruz. 
The start of the 20th century economic order was given in 1944 in the US town of Bretton Woods. IMF, World Bank and World Trade Organization were established within this framework. Under the new monetary system, US dollar was fixed to gold. $35 was accepted as one ounce gold. US dollar becomes the value measurements of other currency units in the world. However, President Richard Nixon changed the course due to the financial bottleneck in 1971. The US declared that it abandoned the pegging of dollar to gold, giving unlimited power to the US Fed to print money as one needed. These policies could not prevent economic crisis and financial instability throughout the world. IMF chairman Kristina Georgieva also stressed the need for a new economic system, saying, we are in a new Bretton Woods moment. What will be the role of digital currencies in the search for this new system? çok kutuplu bir para sisteminin daha muhtemel yakın bir seçenek olacağını düşünüyorum. Yani ve bunun e, arka planındaki o sınırlılığı sağlayacak olan mekanizma altın olabilir, blockchain mekanizması olabilir ve o bugünkü kağıt paranın o sınırsız biçimdeki olan mekanizmanın ötesine daha sınırlı olabilecek bir para sisteminin yakın gelecekte muhtemel bir seçenek olacağını düşünüyorum. Future projections question the limits of this digital phenomenon. The Bitcoin discovered by anonymous people is not yet a fully reliable alternative. However, many international organizations began to accept the reality of digital money. America's fourth biggest bank, Citibank Group, projected Bitcoin could rocket to $300,000 by end of 2021. U.S. central bank said Jerome Powell once said digital currency may be alternative of the reserve currency, making a big splash. It appears that Bitcoin will continue to be one of the most discussed financial topics in the new era. How will human beings seek for new economic model evolve? This is a question.